Uh, well, you might remember a couple of days ago that extraordinary rescue of ADF um, when one was lowered down onto the roof of a house um, and he actually had an accident and fell through the roof and managed to get up and still rescue three people. While three people were rescued safely, one of the family members was left behind. Here's a reminder. That air crewman, he appears to have slipped from the roof there as he came down. We're now being winched above the line of what's very close, it appears, to an aerial and palm trees. This is difficult and dangerous work, but... And the... Oh, oh God. Oh God. It appeared earlier on that there was a dog that was in that tinny. Uh, we assume that perhaps they popped the dog in the, in bag. the bag, can you believe? we can't see the dog anymore. So. And winched the dog up with that second man. So, as it turned out, um, DJ the dog uh, was not in the bag. He jumped from the roof uh, into those floodwaters. That was Tuesday. Two days later, we can say that he's been found safe and well, and he joins us along with his owner, his very happy owner, Mark O'Toole, in Lismore um, this morning. Good morning, guys. Nice to see you this morning. Gee, um, I mean, what a week, huh? How are you feeling? Uh, still hasn't said it. Still hasn't sunk in. Um, yeah, we're just basically running on adrenaline still at the moment. But yeah, no, feeling so happy that we've got DJ back. You know, something small out of a out of such such disaster. But yeah, it's it's given us a lot of hope, and I hope it gives a lot of other people, you know, some hope that you know, some miracles can happen out of all of this. <clears throat> Pardon me. I, I can't imagine how difficult that day was for you, um, let alone um, poor old DJ. Uh, what, what did happen to him and, and where was he found? Um, well, when we got to the house, like, actually, when we were getting in, coming in to, um, up the river and that, we were just getting, yeah, less and less, you know, feeling like we were going to find him because it was just like, think, you know, there was that much water everywhere and thinking like, you know, we're never going to find him. And then when we got to the house, um, we're yelling out and that, and you know couldn't hear. He, you know, he was no, he wasn't, you know, responding in any way. Um, and I was going through the house because we had chooks and all that, and most of our chooks survived. And was you know looking at all the carnage and that. And then I've gone out of the house and started yelling again, and we heard a dog howling in the distance. What we thought was a dog. So the boys jumped on the jet ski in the boat and headed up river. And then I started walking in the river, but where I was going was upstream, and I thought, no, no way you could be up here. And then um, I was actually up to about waist deep in water, and I thought, oh, you know, what am I doing? He's not here. And then I've just turned to my right, just had some feeling, turned to my right, and up through the trees in the distance, I could see a dog sitting on a mound of, yeah, of, I think it was a shed ripped up, you know, this big pile of rubble. And the neighbours had the dog the same colour, so I'm all the way walking up there going, no, 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 it's a neighbour's dog, it's a neighbour's dog, don't get your hopes up. And then I've got closer, and it was DJ, he was just so happy to see me, and, yeah, it was absolutely amazing. And, yeah, and he'd swam, like, 400 metres up current. I don't know how he has got there. Like, it's absolutely amazing that he'd got there. Like, those currents were that strong. We had a caravan beside the house, a six-wheeler, and when it lifted and took off, I could see for about a K and a half in the paddock, and it was gone in about three, two and a half, three minutes. So that's just to show you how strong the current was and what he went through to get up there was absolutely amazing. It was a miracle, though. Oh, mate, we're glad it's worked out, and still you must be, you must be so thankful for the ADF, huh? Oh, mate, they were amazing, absolutely amazing. Like, that guy that dropped down, the army guy on the line, like, I'm still trying to contact him. Like, he went way beyond, like, when he got caught with Chris on the line, the, heli the pilot was telling him to cut, cut Chris off because they were worried the helicopter was going to come down. And he didn't. He unhooked himself, untangled himself, and then lowered Chris back down again, reef harnessed and took him up. Like, he was amazing. And when he fell through the roof, like, I had to grab him, I had to jump in the boat and grab him as he was going past. I grabbed him by the helmet with all his gear on and that. It took me three goes to get him in the boat. The last time, I had to actually sink the bottom of the boat in the back of the boat in the water to drag him in. And wow. when I ripped his helmet off, he couldn't even breathe. He, he was, yeah, he was gone. Like, it was amazing. He was unbelievable. 
And then all the people yesterday, like this Dave come down from the Gold Coast with his jet ski, and these other two young bird blokes, sorry, Saxton, and, and I'm sorry, I'm forgetting the other guy's name. Um, yeah. The two young blokes, they got us out there. We didn't know where we were going. And mm. yeah, and when they got us out there to get him, like without them, it wouldn't have happened. All right, mate. We appreciate your time and well done on helping save um, that ADF member's life as well. Um, look, in my life, I've never seen a happier looking dog. Check it out, everyone at home. Just take a look nah. at that animal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, <he's> amazing. <laughs> Good on you guys. Thank you so much.